Hello there everybody, my name is Orosh and this is another episode of Sonic Forces and in today's episode I'm spinning the earth or Mobius, I'm still not sure about that. Why is all oh, Tails reunited with Sonic in the last episode? I forgot about that. Also, why did the uh, maybe that was just my fault? Maybe that's how I put the cutscenes together. But I think it actually was like that. that they were like Sonic and I mean classic Sonic and Tails met up with Cold Steel, and then they just cut back to their them being in the HQ. Like I feel like. There was supposed to be like another part of like another level where you actually would escort Tails or Maybe there was like, like why couldn't you play for example as the OC and Classic Sonic? That would be probably just as dumb as, as playing regular Classic Sonic You would probably, the only difference would probably be that you would be Classic Sonic but you could use the flamethrower or something What the fuck? whole army of death egg robots oh my god there's like 16 of them we'll never defeat them we're looking for shadow shadow the hedgehog the ultimate flight form there's like tw 20 maybe I'm not looking at the background which is actually really nice forgot to mention that the backgrounds are really pleasant to look at like, like, look, I think the camera will, like, go... Oh, no, it didn't. Aww. I wanted to show you the backgrounds. I don't know why I backed out and I just fell. And then I jumped into spikes anyway. Fucked it up, I guess. What a shadow. Are we gonna fight shadow? I bet I will... If we're gonna fight shadow, he better not have a gun. Or, or else that'll be kinda unfair. I'm Sonic, I don't have a gun or a flamethrower. What am I? Like a fucking retard? Some shitty OC? No, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, there's Shadow just standing there. Okay. I guess he's too cool to care. Pathetic Sonic doesn't know how to stand properly. Pathetic humans. I loved when such like, characters say that, like there's some badass fucking demon hunter from a different dimension and he's like Pathetic humans don't understand what life is about. It's about hunting demons in other dimensions, god damn it. Alright, Shadow, what's the deal? Oh there's the team song of Shadow in the background. Chaos control. All hail Shadow it's, it's called. Wow. Another Shadow, Shadow is so badass he actually killed himself. Just disappeared. That was a fake. Oh, hey, oh, shadow. Fake? How? Hero rise again. <laughs> oh, shadow is on our team. I can barely hear him. They have mass in form, but no heart. So you know, to be honest, I feel like reality? every single voice actor that did shadow voice sounds the same. Replicas. The problem is like probably what they. Did. It was like, hey, you're playing this badass edgy hedgehog, you just need to talk as deep as you can. Alright, I can do that. According to Rouge, my dick isn't so big. Oh, Shadow, it's it's okay, size doesn't matter. What the fuck am I talking about? Shadow's dick? What? We'll figure it out, you stupid mascot. Listen up! Just got word that Eggman's forces See again, there was like the, the cut to different... Like it's as if there were like, like two separate time periods. Like when this conversation takes place, Sonic might be still on this mission we just did. Which is kinda confusing. The Swallow. Does she swallow? I don't know. Well, uh, Wave the Swallow was this character from Sonic Riders, and and I think she was like supposed to be the smartest character in Sonic Universe. At least out of out of all the characters, like smarter than Eggman or Tails, which is weird because she was only in the racing game, and all she did was pretty much build some stupid stupid hoverboards. 
so the idea of a quick focused attack isn't bad. Is Tails still voiced by a girl? Because I'm not sure. So I have no doubt we can he does sound like a boy. Also, if we can a young boy, but room, it might be just a girl be to pretending to be a young boy. At least I hope so. This is all new territory for me. Okay, let's head straight for Eggman's HQ. Time to save the world, people! HQ stands for... Uh, hug quarters. That's where he hugs people for money. Or maybe hump quarters, I don't know. Humps, eggs. It's like... You know there was like this, uh, actually another thing about Sonic Rivals was... There was this like other Eggman in it. It was Eggman from a different uh, dimension. Oh, that's how the gun works, you can like... Kill multiple enemies at once. And he was called Eggman Nega. And he actually looked pretty cool. Instead of like a brown moustache, he had like a grey moustache. I gotta think his design make him look kinda like... Well, I guess if as if you would just... If Eggman would always look like Eggman Nega, and then would, you would show the regular design of Eggman... Then I guess I would say that regular design of Eggman looks cooler, but... I liked it, you know? It was supposed to be kind of more like futuristic Eggman. See how I took care of the, all these enemies at once? That's pretty neat. Oh, also the super ability is that I turn invi invincible. Because I have this like... Weird fucking shit around me. I guess those are these weird robots that were following me. Ah, uh, shit. Also, infinite in this stage, he's keep changing the gravity, which I found a pretty cool idea. Like running up buildings because gravity is weird. And then I thought, does, does it only apply to me? Oh my god, you saw that fucking OC with a mustache? Ah, oh shit, there was an OC with a mustache. Love it. I fucking love it. I'm the last hope. Damn, guys, you are screwed. If you need to rely on cold steel. Well, maybe if you did some knuckles, instead of just sit around in your ass and just send random fucking people that managed to somehow survive. The only reason I survived wasn't because of my super strength or something. It was because Infinite felt like he would just not kill me. I was like... The one who sh was supposed to spread the word. I was supposed to tell others how Infinite kicked my ass and he and they shouldn't mess with him. Cause he's a dangerous weapon. Uh, so why do they call him a weapon? It's still a living being. Just I guess he got like a crystal shoved into his heart or something. And I also put it on a stupid mask. I don't know. Maybe it's it really is a weapon. All that hat is just sweet. Shame it has that stupid symbol. If it didn't, then I could assume it was like an SS man hat. On camo. Camo's pretty cool. It would give me advantage. The fucking death egg robots wouldn't see me. Oh wait, death egg robots were the giant robots. Uh, so other robots are just badniks? Are they like still called badniks? Cause I'm not sure. But I think they might be. They actually like the design uh, in 06. I like the robots design. They looked like... Everything in 06, uh, I mean 06 tried to be kind of like... Badass looking, I don't know. Even Eggman, like they tried to make him look realistic. He looked really ridiculous and I kind of liked it. But it's just kind of weird. No one else I asked about it liked it. They all said it's fucking gross. I mean, I still think it's gross, just that I kind of like this idea of Eggman looking like a normal person. Here I am, the assessment Cold Steel. Yeah, none of the glasses actually fit this design, so I didn't put on any glasses. I love it, you can look like this. It's the best. But you know what? See you guys later in the next episode. Bye!